Taylor swimming hole in Florence is the scene of tragedy this afternoon. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office says a 20-year-old man drowned. It happened at the Blue Heron Ponds, which are east of Highway 115. Terrio News Channel 13's Jonathan Petromala found out how it all happened. One man's risk makes me want to stay away. They're really trying to get me on the raft, but I'm kind of freaked out. Is another man's rush. As long as we just. You know, stay close to us. Sure, we should be all right. Okay, with testing out the Arkansas River swollen with snowmelt. The luck is gonna run out. But not on this run. Auxiliating. Auxiliating. Yeah, when you get there and, you know, it's that oh crap moment where, you know, you might flip it, but it's the thrill of the ride. Sometimes the danger, though, isn't so brown and white. The water was very calm today. Less than a half mile from the raging Arkansas. From the shore, it probably didn't look that dangerous. A group of friends decided to swim across Blue Heron Pond, and one didn't make it out alive. And he became entangled in some very heavy vegetation that was on the surface of the pond. And he went under the, uh, the water surface and never came back up. In only about six feet of water. They don't think anything's going to happen to them. And then, you know, tragedy strikes. It's almost summertime. A time where the risk gets forgotten because of the reward. It's the thrill of the ride. In Florence, Jonathan Petromala, KRDO News Channel 13. The victim's name has not been released. The Blue Heron Ponds are on the Bureau of Land Management land. They're also open to the public.